Hi, this is Joe. I'm here with our rock star patient, Kitty. Kitty actually came to us um, about a month ago, over a little bit over a month ago, uh, needing Dupuytren's release. She had done her research, um, you know, the surgery versus the operotomy versus the injection, and she decided to come to Dr. Cohen and do the actual full release, uh, which is called a fasciectomy or fasciotomy. Um, one week out, Kitty was making a full fist and she couldn't be happier with how everything's looking now. Today she presents with us uh, 26 days and I wanted to show you and she wanted to share her experience and show you her, her um, incision and her range of motion. Okay, here's my incision. 26 days out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And from the other side, you can't even tell I had surgery. Straight as a board. <laughs> And, uh, and really very nice scar. As a matter of fact, I shared this with one of the Dupuytren's groups, Facebook groups, and one of the uh, uh, moderators of the page told me that this was the cleanest closed um, Dupuytren surgery he's ever seen. Um, I'm happy with the, with the scar, but honestly, I, would I could care less about the scar. I, w I just want it not to come back. I talked to Dr. Cohen and asked him about his personal statistics and he has only had something like a 3% return, so that's encouraging. Right. How's your fist? Can you make one for fist me? Fist is... Perfect. Almost perfect. Almost perfect. It's a little soreness in this joint still, but that's going to take some time for all the swelling to go away. But I, I'm, I was back to work really in a week. Great. Um, full full time back to work in three weeks, and I'm a photographer, so I use my hands a lot because... 98% of photography is moving furniture. Right. So. Great. And then Kitty started, you started therapy the day after surgery. The day after surgery. That was one difference a lot between Dr. Cohen. I saw three surgeons before I made my decision to go with Dr. Cohen. And I'm very happy that I did so. Uh, one surgeon who is sort of well known in Dupuytren circles uh, is no longer doing surgery. He's doing the injections. My take on that was that it's cheap, fast. And, uh, I mean, it take, he told me it takes six minutes to do it. But uh, for me, it wasn't an option because uh, of the, the possible side effects, the 40% rate of skin tears. And um, I just don't like injecting something foreign into my body. And how did you do with therapy? Did you like the whole process, the splinting? Yeah, ther therapy has been good. Um, they, they've been great over there at Meridian Hand Surgery or Hand Therapy. Um, I really like Lisa, although they're all good, but Lisa's my favorite. <laughs> okay. And, um, uh, you know, I, I don't know what else to say. I mean, you have to do your own work, too. I'm going to therapy two days a week, and I'm pretty much exercising my hand all day, every day. Great. Well, thank you so much, Kitty, and I hope to see you uh, in the near future, and I would like to get an updated picture of your incision. Awesome. <laughs>